This is an overview of my Lapavoni Euro Piccola, connected to uh, my designed uh, coffee uh, espresso PID controller. So right now, the machine is off. Um, the power switch has been changed here to on the socket, just simply because my lights is actually burned out. Behind here, we have a solid state relay, which decouples the espresso machine from the PID controller. And just for our purposes here, it is plugged into my laptop so we can uh, see the serial monitor um, for the Arduino that is inside. Uh, but under normal circumstances, it's just plugged into a USB uh, wall board. So uh, we will begin by turning on power to the espresso machine. So it now has power, but of course, uh, the connection is being broken by the solid state relay as the PID controller is off. So we will go ahead and plug this in. And once we do this, you will see uh, data showing up on the serial monitor, which we can now see that we have a set point of 0 0.74. 0 0.74. We have a we have a measurement input of zero, well, zero, and we have our duty cycle that is increasing now to uh, bring the machine up to temperature. Here we are now over at the controller. Uh, what we see is we have an OLED screen that displays all three different current input or current programming modes. We have our espresso mode, our milk mode, and our manual mode. On the left, we have our group and temperature, which is currently 30-ish degrees. And we have our current set point, which is 0 0.74 bar. It's a little bit difficult to read. Plus we have our two program buttons. One of them is, or they both represent automatic programming. Uh, one of them is being the espresso mode. The other one is being the uh, milk mode. Actually it's the other way around, the espresso mode and milk mode. And then here we have a uh, rotary encoder, which allows you to do manual programming uh, and on the fly mode. So uh, the machine will take probably about five minutes to get up to temperature, which I believe is pretty normal for most Euro Piccolas, or at least it has been for this one. Um, so we'll just continue going over the PID for now. So as I said, we're currently in our low pressure straight state, which is the espresso button, which is 0.74 bar. If you want to flip into the high pressure state, we'll switch to the input mode. So now we are at a high pressure state, um, which is 1.1 bar. And if we go back over to the serial monitor, we can see that indeed the set point is now 1.1 bar. Uh, with our current input voltage of atmosphere and our duty cycle, like I said, is ramping up to uh, get the machine up to temperature. So I'll just go back over. In addition to the two programming modes, the espresso mode and the milk mode, you also have uh, a manual mode, which when you rotate the encoder, we can then have an update on the screen, which is manual. We now have a target temperature, which is the top one of 0 0.78. And of course, our actual pressure, which is the same uh, that you were seeing on the, uh, the serial monitor. On top of that, you can also set custom values into memory. Uh, to do this, uh, let's say that we want to set it to, I don't know, um, the milk mode by default is at 1.1 bar. Let's change that to 0 0.9. So we will increase the target value to 0 0.9 like this. The milk mode is programmed to this button. So you press and hold this button until the LEDs flash. Like that. And now if we press the espresso or the milk button, our target pressure is now 0 0.9. So just to do that again, you rotate into the manual encoder mode. Let's set it at 0 0.94. You press and hold until the LEDs go. And then you can just go into the program mode now, and now it's at 0 0.94. If you're to lose uh, state, as in the machine shuts off, I'll do this now by unplugging it. You can actually hear the espresso machine now shut off as well. Now we plug it back in. 0 0.74 is the espresso mode, which we can see on the left side. But if we go back into the milk mode, you can see that that value has been captured into the machine's memory. Um, but that's pretty much it. 
Um, it's pretty rock solid. Uh, it is more, it's configurable, um, actually quite configurable. Uh, the, it can accept almost any pressure sensor and this is a variable that you can change. There's an offset to make sure it aligns with your pressure sensor or your, uh, what is it, manometer, if, um, if you believe that to be more accurate. Uh, this is also how the temperature probe is attached to the group head, which is simply kept on tape with a, I think it's the TMP36 analog pressure sensor, and then I've actually just put thermal paste in between the temperature sensor head and the group head, and I think this reads up to like 120 degrees Celsius. On top of that, uh, the coffee machine itself can read in PSI bar Celsius and Fahrenheit and Kelvin if you really want to. Um, inside is just powered by an Arduino Nano. Uh, the parts all together are roughly uh, 60 euros worth or so. And on top of that, all of the code is open sourced. All of the code is open sourced, like I said. Um, it's pretty much plug and play. You can find the entire project on GitHub under my repository, the link will be beneath. Here we have all of the documentation, the user guide, how it works, how to build your own uh, unit as well, which includes the design document, a parts list and cost, circuit diagrams, uh, how, to, how the code works, as well as specific uh, installation modification instructions for the Euro Piccolo. Um, hopefully that can be expanded later as more people add it. Old dependencies are here as well. And on top of that, uh, faceplate models are available if you buy the same enclosure, um, so it'll look pretty much identical to what I have here. And that's pretty much it. We can see just for the heck of it, we're at 0 0.35 bar right now. And if we come up here, we are increasing as well. So it's relatively accurate. Um, this gauge is a little bit fuzzy in its accuracy, but yeah, that's pretty much it. As a very quick follow-up to this, you can see we have our set point of 0.74 bar. Our current measurement unit is fluctuating between 0.73 and 0.75, and our duty cycle is cycling on and off to maintain this pressure. Just the same, as we can see that it's sitting pretty much rock solid on the uh, mechanical pressure gauge as well. Like I said earlier though, the gauge is a little bit fuzzy so it's not super accurate. There you have it.